Coming to you live from the PLA Situation Room in beautiful Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to the Phone Losers of America show. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. Phone Losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs in the backseat of your car. And he's so very sorry. He was searching for the snow like so we scratch up your Ferrari. Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast. Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad. Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's not too cool And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like Santa A shopping spree, people get deceived, dude Switching off the power, people will believe you A blockbuster red box, we just put it in Our BCP for the win once again PLA, PLA all day PLA, PLA all day PLA, PLA all day I, I'm just like watching you on the camera and, and like you're smiling at that song you just heard. It's funny. That song is brilliant. <laughs> you know that who, is amazing. Do you know who MC Lars is? No, no, I don't, but he definitely has some uh, skills. Yeah, he, he's kind of like a rappy type person, a rappy McRapperson. Yeah. Oh, um, so he's a uh, nerdcore. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, uh, yeah, he, like, do you know MC Chris? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, I- um, he, he tours with MC Chris. I saw a show with him and MC Chris. Oh, that's awesome. And it's weird. Awesome. Like, uh, it turns out we knew each other back in the 90s. Me and Lars did online. We used to do prank call stuff together. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. He, he said he might get on on the show with me sometime. That's cool. Like, yeah, that 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 but, is a perfect intro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to well, him about that sometime. Uh, anyway, hey, everyone. I'm Brad. You're listening to the Phone Losers of America show. I think that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> not, not to be confused with the PLA radio show. That's a completely different show. And it's, uh, you know, it's not canceled. I still make sh- episodes of PLA radio, right? Like one every 10 years. Yep. <laughs> Something yep. Like and, we're in, in only two more years till episode two of uh, Telephone Falls. Only two more years, yep. everyone. Yep. Counting down the days. Uh, yeah, you also shouldn't confuse this with, this with the Snowplow Show or Brad's Cactus Shack or the Hobo Sods. Or Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. Or the phone shows. What else? So, so, so let me get this straight. You're telling me that I've been chosen to be the first person on this brand new video podcast. Yep. Okay. You're starting a competitive uh, competitive show, aren't you? Pretty much. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm on Calls of Mass Confusion, your version. Yeah, this is basically like Calls of Mass Confusion. There's both of us in Windows. Well, you get to have people call in and just berate me. That, that, that's the prank. Yep. I don't know why people get so confused with all my shows, though. It's, I only do like 12 of them. <laughs> oh, look at that. Justin's going live on Mixler. I feel like a dick. Maybe we should just not do this. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, wh- whatever. Um. But yeah, we're just yep. going to do some call-ins. Uh, like, I've been doing that payphone show. Have you been watching the payphone show, Giad? I have. That is actually a really entertaining show. I, I, I laugh every time I, I watch. Yeah, I like doing that. But then I have to, like, set up the payphone. I'm still going to do the payphone show. But I figured yeah, we could do that. This could be like the payphone show without the payphone. <laughs> the payphone show with a guest. Yeah. When it's solo, it's the payphone show. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, with me, as always, everyone, is Giad. Hey, Giad. <laughs> as always. Yep. Um, we're going to take I'm some calls. What? I'm not I'm not the sidekick. I'm Just so everybody's clear, this is just me being on for a guest <laughs> one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Th- <laughs> this is not, like, Giad, this is the last, like, people are, people are you know, they're not going to listen if they think it's going to be you. Yeah, time. I'm not as Andy Richter, so, so please don't click the dislike button. There's no actual co-host. It's just... Um, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, um, I don't know. I, I guess we should introduce ourselves. Like, I'm Brad. You're Giad. My clean date's February 12th, 2017. I don't have a BAC level. This is how I my, introduce myself. My now. clean date is uh, about an hour. Oh, good. <laughs> doing, I'm doing good. It's been a very progressive hour. I'm hoping to get eight straight tonight with nothing in me. Yeah. <laughs> you have a cat? I saw your cat on the couch. I do, and He's I have gone. a dog, too. I have you know. a cat named Bernadette. <laughs> yeah. I, I, mine's name's Griffin. And oh. oh, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. On, 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 the live, on the live show we did, the last live show we did together, um, Calls My Fusion one, yeah, remember, I, I claimed my cat was a, uh, um, 
a raccoon. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that was fun. Good times. So yes, we should we we should actually do one of those again sometime. I think uh, I think I think the I live th- shows are very fun, and I think, I think we, we we went well. The the hard part is is Craigslist got got strict as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can understand. I exploited Craigslist since 2013 at will. I've never like, done that with Craigslist as much as you that have. It must much fun done. I huh? mean that and ran around with cameras for you guys, but I mean <laughs> got arrested. Always been, yeah. It's always been using Craigslist, and then Congress passed some anti fucking bill that was aimed after you know like the sex industry and sex slavery and shit like that. And boom, all this shit happened. And they, I, you can't post for free there anymore unless you're looking for roommates. And I don't really think we need to keep looking for roommates. Nah, we've done enough of that. Yeah. So motherfuckers are gonna make me pay to do pranks and then that a bitch <laughs> do you officially go by Jihad now since I've turned I, the entire internet so. against you and like cause you used to be Jihad yeah I, and I still once in a while say Jihad but yeah most people call me Jihad I don't care to me it sounds the same almost. do you hate me for that <laughs> no, no, but there are people who call me jihad, you know. <laughs> like, well, that that's gonna get me so I can't fly somewhere one day. Yeah, probably. Some robots gonna po- point at me and. If I started hey, saying jihad, w- would like? Do you think I could get the internet to go back? <laughs> no, you know what it is. I actually should just say it is jihad or jihad, and then and then you just have a problem with some words. Yep, and this is just one of them. I wonder if your name's on that list of mine on the wiki. There's a uh, wiki page. Oh, on, on things you can't pronounce. I yeah, gotcha. It was yeah, a yeah. giant wiki page of like just this huge list of words that I mispronounce. <laughs> Some of them aren't fair, like per, like yeah, like names like yours. I don't know if, I don't <laughs> yeah, know if yeah, you're on there. Really good. My way's stupid. I say it because I don't know how to read right. So when I made you know Jesus in a dump truck, and then at first you probably don't remember this. I do, but I had my, it, I had a T on at the end at, at first, and then you the one of the, the first live show I ever watched you do. I was sitting there feeding you ideas. You didn't really know who I was, and you said you said. Uh, Oh, that's a good one, Jihad. T- 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 and then whenever I said it, you would keep saying it. So I took the T off of there after that, and it was just Jesus in a dump truck. Wait, why was know? there a T? I'm confused. Because dump truck is two words. Oh, okay. That <laughs> makes sense. That sounds like something I would do. Yeah, yeah. So I took it off so you could pronounce it better, and, and then, then you just and then, and then I just called it Jihad because I, like I said, I, that's the way I would have read it. Cause yep. The chat room's saying that we should start making prank calls. What, who do you want to prank today? <laughs> well, maybe, oh, I think you forgot to explain to them what the show is. I don't know what the show is. I'm, I'm just, we're going <laughs> to hang out for an hour. I thought we could take some phone calls, and I'm basically ripping off um, uh, 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 Riley from Antisocial <laughs> Engineering, because he had you on recently, and I just, I'm like, fuck you, Riley. I'm going to have Jihad on my show, and... <laughs> I liked the episode with you on it. Like you were on one of antisocial engineering, and um, uh, who else? Uh, Nick Caesar. He was on an episode. Yeah. That was a really good one. Did you hear that yeah. one? No, I, di- I didn't hear that, but I remember when he was on there. Uh, yeah, I actually, I, I had really. I, that was the first time I was ever really like, kind of interviewed, and, and it, I thought it, it was kind of cool. It was kind of neat. They got to kind of go down memory lane. And now you're just doing interviews by- all the time. Like first oh, I know. Him, now this one. What's yeah, next week? That, yeah. Well, not the next week, but I, maybe a few weeks from now, I'll do another one. Yep. Probably nothing. Yeah. It's if you notice, it's just my friends interviewing me, so I feel important. That's how it is in podcasting. Like, it, like all the podcasts I listen to, it's just a bunch of people that know each other talking <laughs> yeah. to each other. I think that's, that's just kind of works. It's weird. Like, I've got this set up. So that the video, you know, the, the chat room showing in the video. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me go click on it. Yeah. But like, um, you know, like uh, when you watch a live stream, you can click on the hearts and the hearts go up the screen. They're not showing up in the broadcast video. And I don't know why. It's weird. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no, I don't do much. I, I, I think I kind of do, but weird. I huh. don't get it. Weird. I don't know. Yeah, so, so heavy stuff, huh? Heavy stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so how's this Facebook thing work? 
Yeah, everyone's doing hearts and smileys and thumbs ups. Awesome. And and purple flowers and they don't show up. I don't yeah, know I get why. You. So you can see it on you can see it on on the screen where it's actually happening, but not in the video. Yeah, it's freaking me out. Like yeah. what's going on? I'm looking in two different monitors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, calls of mass confusion. Yes. Yes, we are uh, just over a month in, which means there's about six months left. Uh, maybe more if I make more, or if we make more. We should explain kind of, for the people that calls of mass confusion is. Yeah, calls of mass confusion. It's like prank calls, but with video, right? Yeah. Well, it. Yeah. So, it's kind. Of, yeah. Ultimately, that's the, the the easiest way to sum it up. And then season one was all about going out to stores and recording, uh, as you guys called stores. I was I didn't do any pranks. I was always out with cameras. Yeah. And uh, and then of course you know the infamous arrest at the end, and and then that, of course that had to change the style of it some. So during the season, we I'd done a first a call with Dwight, um, where we did like a bait and switch calls on the very first episode. Um, it's where it's it's the uh, Skype uh, harmony ad. That's what it is. That was the very first time we played around with the the Skype video idea. And then after that, I uh, Carlito and I did a day where we wrote a bunch of shit and tried a bunch out, and it turned out amazing. Um, so then season two, I, I wanted to keep going, but I, I, in all honesty, I can't go out to stores and get arrested anymore. Nah, it's not, nah. It's, you a, don't need to be it's, doing that. it's a fail. It's a it's a uh, it's a failing plan. <laughs> and then I had to outdo you and get raided by the FBI. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like I can't Something handle like, Jihad's getting all this attention for his arrest. I I I gotta admit, when you were arrested, raided by the FBI, I went, "Wow, mine is really minor." <laughs> <laughs> so um, then. So then we, I, I I think just one time I said you know I, I said let's try this video thing and the very first thing that we did was uh, was the uh, that Juggalo call to the girl that we seen there's some other calls that are um, like the you know the reasonable sanity podcast thing and we did it and I just had this idea of being able to rechop it down and make it look like a real podcast and make it like a prank and yep and apparently I was stealing from uh, the uh, the show Fast Balls or something like that. Oh, that's like pretty you, much what it is. I didn't stealing. realize that. You're not yeah, stealing I, from anyone. Like it's it's I been don't. done. Nobody yeah, yeah, first. That's the thing. It's really hard to be original. Yep. I didn't really steal their idea. It's I've never just heard hard of Fast Balls. That you weren't the first. And then, um, so basically, now what the premise is is we try to get people on for job interviews, anything over Skype that I can lure people in, and and, and you know, and and then. We have a usually a, a small group, and it's not your traditional like, "Hey, fuck you, asshole!" You know, you know, jerky boy style, fucking, you know, quick pranks. And they're, those are fine; they're funny. It's just not the style the show is, and it's because the show is pretty much built off of an old podcast I did called "The Art of Phone Larking," which is that concept of using Craigslist to bring people in for weird interviews. And that's why we all kind of knew what we were doing, but we'd never done video like this before. Yeah, the round and there table. was a new element. The round there table a, thing. Yeah, yeah. And plus there's this new crazy element that that got added in, which I tried to explain to everybody because I only could just think of a handful of things to do. But, you know, ultimately there's a fourth wall that everybody can see now, right? So there's – when we – audio prank calls, it's obvious, right? So it's, it's – uh, I guess. You know – Audio, audio, right? That's it. You yep. can't see each other, nothing. That's it. Just audio, audio. And and there's lots of funny stuff, obviously. Then you went in, you know, then the store pranks that we did in season one, it was like, okay, well, now when the person's pranking, they can't see, but we have a cameraman who could see, and then we'll, we'll put it all together, right? And But there still wasn't this interaction with the actual a video interaction between the people who were pranking and being pranked. And then this, it added a whole new element. One, it's hard not to laugh when you're being fucking goofy. And there's going to be a few times where you guys see the wheels fall off. Oh, and yeah. it's fucking hilarious. I see myself it's... like holding back on the Skype. Oh, yeah. I bite my lip or cover my mouth like this a lot and just try to look at the camera and nod, just trying to pull the, it away from my smiling face, you know, any kind of looking. And there's a couple times, though, where the wheels completely fall off. Everybody just, you know, they it's just goofy. And, um,. But for the most part, it, it works. And, and kind of what the style is, it's 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 less like the Jerky Boys, like I said, and more like long-form improv. Yeah. So I would almost have to, if I had to compare it to somebody doing prank phone calls, I'd have to go to some old-school blackout pranks. 
So, uh, what's you, the blackout, you remember print? blackout box, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember blackout. Yeah. Yeah, his long form, you know, character driven, you know, and so that's kind of what it's based hey, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you need to shut the fuck up, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's I, I bet you the chat room. Yeah, people in the chat that. room are making uh, suggestions like they do for prank calls. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> if your wife, so, if I hear your yeah, wife in the background, well, I'm going to tell her to like ask you to have her shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, the, basically, that, that's basically it. It's like long form improv meets prank phone call meets uh, video prank show meets you know fake pod, fake TV show. I don't really know. It's it's such a weird blend of shit. That's why, to be honest, I get a lot of you know a lot of criticism. A lot of people like it too. They like it, and they were fans of phone larking. So this is just an adaptation to that. And but I can get why they wouldn't because it's bizarre. It's weird and it's, well, it's different. completely but, different. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. That's the hard. Here's What's, the thing about what we're doing, Arby. Have you have you ever not had a fucking brilliant time while we're doing this? I mean, it's it's so much fucking fun to do. Uh, there's a couple of them in there. You can see. I'm just. Uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's true. But the, the the really good. I'm the the examples I like. They're always fun is, though. They're always interesting. No. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and if you remember too, um, I actually was like. I, 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 I got sick of being the lead because I'm a lead in a lot of these. I'm in like 36 of the 62 episodes that are holy shit. Made. And 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 so I'm in a lot of them. But a lot of times it was hard to hand off the lead to anybody. But you remember the very first time I I got you and Carlito together, and I said I'm not even going to listen. You guys, this is what's going on. Go because I you, and, and it turned out fucking brilliant that's the the, the beef McFaggot one. Oh yeah me and, me and Carlito were confused on that one like I don't know if you watched the before video of oh that yeah, one, but yeah just, I've edited all this stuff it's hilarious like, watching you guys to scramble to figure out what the hell is going on yeah yeah we're just like bad mouthing you like gee what, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck is this why are we doing this but, but the thing is it, what it, it, in my in, see that, that's what I had to do to make you guys comfortable you know because you guys got so used to meet in like this the show host right the, the guy who's keeping it all together because 60 seconds of love is brilliant in that sense because I get everybody in there with a fair amount of time but you know I can only do that so much before it's just the same thing over and over people like you and Carlito you know people, Dwight has his fans XYZ has his fans you know there's some overlap but yeah. you know it's it's that's why that's 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 why you know that's why i had to hand it off but and it's it's going to be different right you guys are going to treat it different than i do so yep so that's my answer to your one question you got a second one <laughs> uh, no that was pretty much it did, did, did you <laughs> really and everyone hey did you talk about like okay so you got arrested at the mall because we were yeah. prank calling people and it may have been my fault because maybe or no, I, I, actually, I know 100. percent It was my fault because I wrote a joke on there about um, you know claim you're from Black Lives Matter or Black Lives <laughs> Matters on its way to protest in your store. I wrote that as a joke for you guys to use, and you <laughs> used it, and you kept fucking using it, and then you used it again and again, and then people took that as a threat. Oh man! <laughs> and it's then kinda, all of a sudden, kinda. I'm I'm in a court defending what you guys said by you know saying I I thought they were just supposed to be goofy and funny. <laughs> And then, he, yeah, they definitely crossed the line because I didn't prank anybody. I just dared to record it. I can't remember. Did you talk about eating the evidence to anyone? Has that been a thing? Should I be quiet? <laughs> Should I ever talk about that? Okay. Like, if, like, do you want I, to? Okay, like, do we, we don't have to. If I was to have ever destroyed some evidence, I would have been in a room looking up at a camera and paying it in a camera that's on me hoping it wasn't looking and reaching in my pocket to my camera trying to pop up my sd card out of these little cameras and it's a bitch yeah especially when you're nervous that you're about to somebody's about to walk in and then i put it and then i coughed and put it in my mouth and swallowed a mini sd card so you swallowed but you swallowed that's only them. if i was to actually have ever destroyed evidence which i am not admitting to i'm just saying that's a story and i like stories <laughs> Okay, all right. It sounds like it would have been funny if that actually happened. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. But I was kind of dumb because uh, there was two other cameras <laughs> all the same evidence, and we told them exactly what we were doing. Yeah. That's probably, you know, that's you we, probably we broke got rule number one, which is to think that the cops won't just arrest you for something stupid. <laughs> you probably lost some amazing footage from that. 
Uh, there was one. There was one call because I sucked at being a cameraman. I won't lie to you, but I, you know what I was doing. I was playing the go in between on everything. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm I'm trying to talk to you guys in a mall that has shitty reception. At the same time, I'm trying to instruct you know my two buddies that are with me to go do this and go do that, and they're going to call here and tell them when the call's over. So there was a lot of tra- traffic. I'm trying to record why I'm doing that. So most of my footage is always shitty, anyways. But yep. when you're panicky in a holding cell. <laughs> You kind of don't think of things straight, so it's possible you'd get the you know desire to eat an SD card. Not that I did. No, he wouldn't do that. No, that'd be <laughs> stupid. So I've set up a call-in line, and I just put oh. it up on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Like, are you watching the video? Um, I, I click back on it. It drives me crazy to watch it because of the delay. So uh, I yeah. click off of. It. Yeah, I, I took a photo of one of the coins and made that like the the logo thingy. Oh, nice! Um, that is nice. That's, <laughs> dude. That's great. Um, you look like a professional. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but if anyone wants to call in, it's eight four five four seven zero zero three three six. I think the number works. I thought I tested it out before we started. I can't remember. Did it go through? Uh, yeah, there it goes. Someone's calling in from my number or right. my cell phone. <laughs> of course. Lee condors like malls are still a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, I don't think for a whole hell of a lot longer, to be honest with you. Nah, nah, they're 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 dying out. <laughs> they just, I, they're, they, you know, the only way they'll, the only kind, the only way those kind of stores are ever going to last is the same way like the Halloween store does, right? They're pop in, make money when it's time to make money, and then pull out, right? That's the only way in the future they're ever going to really stay. Close the mall for nine months a year. Yeah, if kind of, yeah. Like all of a sudden, I think it's going to change that way because people still like to go out and shop. At least, you know, it's not gone away all the way. They just don't want to shop all the time out in stores. Hey, if you would have swallowed the the card, like, would you have been checking your poops for the next few days to see if maybe it was in there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. First of all, I, I the idea crossed my head, hey, and yeah. I was trying. Oh, hey, you oh. got a caller. Who's this? Hey, Gian. It's Mob huh? 7. Hey, Gian. Oh, Mob hey, 7. How's it going? Carter. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Hey, you know. Just talking. Yeah. Just, just, do, a little, just do a little live Facebook live show. Sounds fun. Yeah. Something like that. We're, getting, we're, trying, yeah. we're trying to pull in the youth. They're, they're still doing this Facebook thing, right? Yeah. I, you know, I heard Snapchat's really big for the record. <laughs> yeah, I need to start broadcasting this on Snapchat. Yeah. Someone tell me how to do Yay. that. You can, uh, there's a tutorial I wrote at phonewinners.com. You could do it <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Thanks, well, man. Have a good day. Oh, no, you have Bye. to ask a question. You're required to ask a question. Tell me what oh, your question okay. is. Okay. Give me a question. Okay, okay, okay. The question is, what was the single greatest piece of advice that you were ever given? And when you applied it to your life, what were the results that you found? I don't like that question. That's for you, uh, Jed. <laughs> that is a deep question. And... I can actually, I can actually uh, tell you exactly what it is. Um, it, so there, there's a. Uh, hold on, I'm looking it up real quick. Okay, that's fine. No, you know what? I, that, no, I, I, fuck an internet video. I'll just tell you what the what the greatest thing that. Uh, so some guy once told me I was at a, a crossroad in my life. I just, I was 17 years old, just been charged with. Um, with a felonious assault, out of all things, right? And, that sounds uh, like you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds and, like and a GS thing this, for sure. There was this guy in front. You know, there's a, there's this guy, and I got in a fight with him. Anyways, there, I, the school was going to kick me out, and it, it was just a big fucking mess. I wouldn't have graduated high school. Let's put it that way. And this guy, I was talking to my buddy about. It, I was like, I don't know what to do. They're not going to. You know, it was going to screw me out of. You know my credits to to graduate. I just physically couldn't graduate anymore, and uh, and this guy was the this guy's stepdad or something got on the phone and he was like, and I don't I didn't even know him that good. Just some guy that used to sell weed to kids, and and, right on, and he right said, on, right on. and he said, he said, I I've been hearing what you're saying. I've been hearing over here in the conversation, and just let me tell you, there's no one way in life. Life is not a single path where you're supposed to follow everybody else, and that's the route you're supposed to go. Life doesn't work that way. You look for the path that you want, what works for you, that's and right. that's the path you got to go down. Praise so the Jesus. You, 
And, right. and that's Praise all he Lord. said to me, right? Real Amen. basic. I made the decision to go to alternative school. Graduated on time, and now I have an MBA. Yay! Fuck the principles. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Let's so that, that's it. Just, you know, you know there, kid, there's no, yeah, don't feel bad about me. what path you're on. Everybody's on their own. Can we prank call yeah, your principal? Yeah, when I was a kid, they would always tell me that I was never going to do anything with my life. And, uh, you know, I went to the same thing as you, and now I'm an engineer at Snapchat, and I uh, do nothing oh, nice. for a living. You can put lots of money. Yay! Oh, you are. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad to hear other stories yeah, like man. that because I always. I always feel like I got really lucky and a lot of other people got screwed because it's kind of based around that sometimes, right? Because that, like I said, that felonious assault case, uh, uh, I end up beating that by randomness. Well, well, if I, let's put it this way. What'd you have to if swallow? If felonious assault and one of the main witnesses is your friend because he didn't know how to talk to police, but um, you're willing to sit in a car with him for several hours to talk to him about what he's going to go in and say to the prosecutor right before the case, how that isn't what was said and this and that and the other thing because it was enough to put reasonable doubt. If that were to happen, it might have got somebody cleared from a case. It didn't happen, though. I just like telling stories. Yeah. <laughs> you guys hey, Brad, did you say we were going to do a prank call? Do a prank call, speaking of felonious uh, What's that? You faded what? out. Yeah, what you say? Let's, let's do a prank call. Let's do a prank call. Uh, no, oh, no, no. None of that. Felonies, you know, let's... No, no, we, let's get some. We, let's get some microwaves. Throw out the window. You know, I resisted <laughs> when I did the phone show back in 2009. I resisted doing prank calls for a good three months before I gave in and <laughs> turned it into a prank call show. So we'll we'll see how I that goes this time. time. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, I'll just hang out on the phone with you guys since you're uh, no, me, no. and I'll stay here forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Uh, go to phonewinners.com and join the Allied Phone Winners. Woo. There we go. I was a little off with the uh, hang up, but <laughs> hey, anonymous, how you doing? Uh, hello. Is this the uh, is this the hotline for the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan? This is the one. You want it? Okay. Know. Um. Yeah. So I was wondering, uh, when do I need to send in my uh, application so I can become a, a wizard of the local clan? Are you an Aryan? Yeah, yeah. Or an Orion. Application as, accepted. As, as I would pronounce it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm an Aryan. You're accepted. Go ahead and tell everybody you are now a Grand Wizard. You've been blessed. Uh, yeah, I'm now a Grand Wizard. And also, um, I, I just want to say this as a personal uh, reference. Oh, shit. Uh, Here we um, go. You know, I don't hail Hitler. I hail the phonewinners.com. Uh, we hail the phonewinners. <laughs> we, I, not. This is just like the phone show. <laughs> We're bringing phone winners into it. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. I've been a fan of the phone winners for a lot of years. Is there a rival faction out there called uh, the phone? D- during the, the, the phone show back in the day, there was a group out there that was... Uh, you know, they're trying to cause problems, just trolling a bunch. Yeah, they, well, they, yeah. We're, they were, we're trolls. We get trolled too, right? Yeah, they were called the phone winners. And it, it like, I don't know, it, it was like, yeah, they, they started the phone winners of America. They started up phonewinners.org and <laughs> I don't know, it, it was a mess. Okay. They, they were posting uh, Stacy's info on the page. and I have like, I have a new appreciation for that that person who called in. That yeah. is a funny callback. <laughs> Yeah, you, you had to. I had to send you the uh, article on, on where we uh, officially ended the phone winners. It's pretty funny. It's on phone losers. Oh no! Oh god! I have to post a link to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely would like to see that. Hey there, there. you're on the air. Hello? Hey guys, what you doing? Oh, oh you know, oh. <laughs> just thinking about stuff. Uh, I have a question for you guys. What is your guys is like? Most crazy high school experience of all time. Outside of the yeah, Polonius no. assault. <laughs> Come on, he just gave a really good one. <laughs> I, I, I lit um, off a pack of 100 Saturn missiles in the basement. Of, oh of wow! Those, those are those things that whistle like a hundred whistles in a row, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get caught. Like they suspected me, but they they, yep, they didn't catch me. That was pretty fun. I think I can admit to that at this point, right? Okay. It's like 50 years ago. I'm going to track you down. You never know. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I have one. What would it be? 
Um, Ken Lloyd wants to know how to call. Look at the screen, Ken. Call in. <laughs> it's right there on the screen. <laughs> I, I'm hesitant to sit and talk about some of this stuff because I can't sit and tell all these stories and keep saying, you know, if that was to actually happen. Did you have ah. the TVs in every classroom called Channel One, g -Ed? Yes, yes, that's where uh, Ale Anderson Cooper first got started. Yeah, I brought wire clippers to school and, and cut off like an entire side of the school from that. <laughs> <laughs> just because, right? Yeah, like over and over they kept fixing it and I kept just cutting the wires in random places. <sighs> Good times. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I don't I got so many different things running through my head, I just don't know. <laughs> So, so far, I mentioned my court cases. How deep do we want to go into my past? Because <laughs> there's some fuck up shit. I don't know if I really... I, you know, I, I I can't answer that. Well, um, the closest I can get is I got into a about a four... I started like a 40-man rumble. I can't even say 40. Well, because my imagination's probably taken it further than it was. But I know for sure there's at least 20 people. Uh, 20 people rumble at, at a football game. I walked up and threw the first punch, and it just turned into chaos. <laughs> and then ran away. <laughs> no, I couldn't run away. I was on the bottom of a fucking huge pile. I, 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 this dude that was, he became my friend later. I hit him, and he had all of his friends there, and all my friends were there. And it, it was, like, built up for a fight. Like, I was kind of scared of this dude because he was all muscular, and I wasn't sure if I, you know, it, it could have been tough. I didn't know him, you know. And, uh, it's one and, way to and find out. By, well, well one, yeah, and one of my friend, one of my other friends said, "You know what? You just got to go up there and say to him." And I said, "What's that?" And he was like, "You just got to go and say, hey, you're a bitch, and I'm about to fuck you.'" And he won't know what to do, and then hit him. And I did that. <laughs> <laughs> or fuck him. I'm about to fuck you, and I just stalked him. <laughs> then he grabbed a hold of me, and then like his cousin come and push us down, and my brother's on there, and there's just like a huge pile. Him and I both talk about we couldn't move. We're on the bottom, but. My brother says that his, one of his one of his cousins started fucking kicking him in the head, trying to kick my head. He's seen his cousin <laughs> kick him in the head like twice. He probably almost uh, died. And so there's a fun story. Yeah, there's one where I don't kind of worry about it. A fight broke out. Who's this That's calling in? Okay. I'm Brendan calling. in the chat room. Oh, hey, Brenda. Um, what what's your crazy high school story? Uh. Are you in high did. school? Are you like how old are you? I'm a senior right now. I'm about to graduate and everything, so... Good. Yay. You yeah, should drop out. That place. Well, the to commit <laughs> 20 is assault if you wanted to. I would right drop now. out this if I were you. This time in life. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> don't. So no crazy high school stories? So, like, you're probably not allowed to be bad in high school anymore, are you? Or you're a terrorist? Uh, we probably shouldn't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Actually, no. There was this one time, uh, okay. freshman year. We we're in Spanish class, and I drew a picture of, like this terrorist-looking guy with the word "Allah Akbar" on it, and oh, I wrote "bomb" that's, on the back, and like threw it off the balcony because the class is upstairs. And apparently, some guy found it and turned it into the office, and they called me in about an hour later and checked my backpack for bombs and everything. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's, that's so weird. Like, like, I don't think they would have done that back back in my day. Oh, back in a, fuck no! I, I, you're a little older than me, Arby, but I think the 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 age, you know, the time was very similar when we were both in high school. Where, you know, two people got into a fight. If one guy was a, it's a, it was kind of like hockey. If it was two mutual guys, they might fucking get, you know, just some trouble. But if it's like a pure assault, then it's two weeks suspension. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like bringing yeah. the cops, get the fucking court involved. Yeah. Am I am I wrong? Is that what happens when two people fight in school now? Yeah, pretty much. You probably have to. Go to what blew my up. mind was my friend literally threw a keyboard off of the top floor of the school and somehow didn't get caught. So <laughs> don't know how that happened. <laughs> they cameras. <laughs> Holy shit, that's gotta suck. Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to get away with anything. <laughs> There was a running joke when I was in grade school about how I was going to blow up the school. I was, like, drawing up plans. <laughs> like, I was seriously drawing up blueprints on how to blow up the school. And, it, like, they involved the boiler room and everything. And the teachers, oh like, saw it. They thought it was funny. I've got um, signatures in my grade school yearbooks. Like, have a good summer, Brad. I think you're funny because you say you're going to blow up the school. 
<laughs> that dude, that's too good of a story right there. That's amazing. That showed you that the change in time. They're like, oh, isn't Brad sweet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that kid's so <laughs> making bomb so plans. Frank, you might blow up at school. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up on you, Brenda. Yeah, nice talking to you. All right. Bye. Nice talking to you guys too. Bye. Did he say his name was Brenda? I don't know, but that's what you started calling him right away. <laughs> He's the new Giad instead of Jiad. <laughs> uh, nobody's calling in. There were a bunch of people calling in while Brenda was on, but oh, the lines I... are open. This is where you got to put in filler stuff, and you got to start saying, "You got to," because nothing's happening. You, you basically... got to be like, "And we're once again, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Phone Losers of America podcast." Here we if go. You want to call? Call toll free, and then you just buy the time, right? That's right. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hey, Brad, it's Aaron. I just wanted to say I really love your show. Ah, thanks. Do you hate Giad, though? <laughs> uh, I actually like him and you guys together. Um, I try to listen to Yay. everyone, including Madhouse and the Macro, but I just don't have time anymore. Yeah, just yeah. stick with us. Yeah, I, I hear you. We're the best. <laughs> yeah, but you no, guys are by far the best. Everybody Carlito, all the um, it's good, but it's not as funny as it used to be. Oh, come on. But like, this, um... This new concept Gia has is fucking hilarious. I can't watch it while we eat dinner, otherwise I'll choke. That's how funny it is. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. I like it, too. It's, it's a fucking blast to make. I think it's all right. So, like, <laughs> take, talk, now, take me through. How did it even, like, how did, like, every time I wanted to see, like, every time I would listen to your prank calls, I would always want to see the reaction on, like, the other end. And now with this, it's like my curiosity is satisfied. It's, like, it's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was kind of the when I when I approached Arby on this uh, must have been like two thousand the end of two thousand fifteen because we just had did a, a Thanksgiving where somebody was out and said, "Hey, I'll record this with my cell phone," and I was like, "Oh, cool!" and I and it just happened to do it, and he, then he gave me the video, and I was like, "This is brilliant," and uh, and and then. Um, I, I, about two months later, I said to Arby, I said, Dude, I, got, I think we should try this. And I pitched I pitched the concept to you, and you liked it. And I said, will you dedicate yourself for three episodes? And he said, yeah. And holy fuck, we just broke into something that hadn't been done before, which is hard. And then you yeah, made I mean, me do like No one's doing episodes. this. Like, no one. Like, the closest yeah. thing you can get on this with mainstream TV is that impractical Jokers. And that's yeah. just like, it's a brilliant idea. But this is over the phone, and it takes a whole other level of to do, and for that I commend you guys. Oh shucks, thanks. thanks. Who is yeah. this calling in, by the way? Oh, Aaron Johnson, also known as AJ four zero nine three. Hey, Aaron. That's so hey. weird. People giving out their real names. That's what it says in his <laughs> caller ID too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not up to much. So either way. <laughs> yeah, if you don't got much to hide, what are you worried about? You're not yeah, like I got nothing to hide. <laughs> You're not I like called in. It's just like so. My entertainment's weird. If I looked at your history, like, what are you Googling? MILF action and, like, early legal, like, MILF or something like that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't judge me. <laughs> but, um, what was it called? Um, yeah, um, I worked at a consulting place and everyone thought you were hilarious. Awesome. But yeah, wait, granted, wait, wait, it was I, just, you know, granted, somebody got a bunch hold of me. You know, speaking of impractical jokers, somebody did get a hold of me and I forgot, I, I forgot who it is. And it's somebody I've talked to in, um, Discord, and they 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 had said, "Hey, I know a producer that worked on Impractical Jokers. Do you want me to share this with them? And which episodes? This is I just season that, one stuff." I think that if you were to do that, that would take off because I mean, you guys have been doing this for how long? Like what, twenty plus years? You guys like should be getting paid a lot of money to be doing this. That's <laughs> oh, good I agree. I agree. I should be a millionaire for doing prank phone calls. I agree. Yeah, you two <laughs> should have been millionaires like. 10 years ago. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Come on, people. I'm yeah. happy with just making Still a living unfair. off of it because my day job is pretty fucking boring and I like to be creative. You know, I, Although I bet, oh, it to, I, I bet you if I did it all day, every day like Arby does, I, I bet my feelings would start to change a yeah, little bit. I, I get sick of it. Oh my well, God. Like, Arby's a sociopath, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yep. a, he's a hilarious sociopath, but yeah. Well, my favorite yeah. one is when... Um, you can't take that away. That's what my actually, counselor says. <laughs> Remember when um, Dwight called that woman from the gym and t 
told her to instruct her son on proper masturbation skills. That was yes. fucking funny. <laughs> one of the best and then, uh, up. and then the black lady with fake glasses and the iPad. Oh, oh my god, that was also a good one. <laughs> and then when you guys were screwing with people at DEF CON over there in the hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got threatened for that. And then you guys did with the, um, the radio and the um, transistor chips. And then, like, I forget oh, when scene. you guys did that. It was a while ago, and then everyone tried that, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, it's RBCP. What the fuck do you expect? I wasted so much money. Like, <laughs> I stimulated the economy so much for that, for that prank. Yeah. Oh, and then, which one was it that um, called NORAD and almost caused Oh, that was Carlito. War? Yeah, that was Carlito. <laughs> that, I was on was the phone awesome. with him, but, like, I wish, like, I'm just like, Carlito, what are you doing? You're going to get me arrested. <laughs> After you oh, do it, the guy says, please hold on. That, um, and, and, and oh, Carlito goes, Carly goes, should we be doing this? You said no. <laughs> <laughs> no. And remember the squirrel lady on that one call from that old person's catalog where she said, you know what? I bet you you're masturbating right now. You're sick. You need to kill yourself. Oh, I, I sort of remember, remember her, but not really. I need to go back and listen to those. Yeah. Those are funny. It was, um, I think it was December 2006. It was pretty fucking hilarious. It was that Harriet something, um, Catalog, yeah. and yeah. you called the woman, and she kept name dropping, but you kept like bleeping out who she said like was the name, and then like oh, she, she was like a weird conspiracy and... lady, right? Like she said she worked yeah. for high 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 up people. Yeah, was... and she was the one who said that like um, my daughter's a lawyer, and we are all college educated, <laughs> and Professor Ramsey schooled us and people like you. I bet you you're masturbating right now, aren't you? Because you're sick and fat and no one ever looked at you. And I'm like, oh my god. I don't remember awesome. that. I don't remember that line, you but that sounds great. I gotta I'll go back and hear that. To you. Yeah, I don't I know can, if I've ever even heard that stuff. I'll see if I can send it to you. Do it. Do it. Alright, I had enough of your reminiscing. Right. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm> talking to <laughs> good. That was good. I enjoyed that. I think he was bringing up like uh, how... Like with calls of mass confusion, we get to see the reactions. Yeah, and like I remember bringing that up to you back in 2015 or 14 or something, like because yep. we did all those roundtable pranks on the art of phone larking, where, yeah. where we would each just drop in and say our thing, and then you would get back on and you would play, you would pretend to be part of, you know, you, you'd be on their side and get them yeah. to tell the whole story. Be like, what did they say? I, I'm so sorry about that, and get their reaction, and then we just do it over. Like do it yeah. again and again and again. That was like I thought that was genius. Did yeah, you... there was a there was a handful of things on the art of phone that I can't bring over. It just wouldn't work the same. Like um, transfer loop, it's fucking brilliant. Do you remember transfer loop? I had like fucking ten people on my show. You might not have been on, but we would we were just passing. Basically, we just kept passing the phone around. I'd be like, all right, uh, and you're interviewing for what? Okay, all right. Oh, all right, I remember this. You, I'd explain to him at the beginning that we're in a big call center and we're interviewing for a bunch of things right now. So, um, you know, so I'm setting the table for them to accept what's about to happen, right? Yeah. And um, and and then all of a sudden I start transferring and it just keeps transferring around and everybody says, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, shit, uh, trans, you know, uh, God, what was it? it was like, I don't remember. It was like something. Uh, it, you were you were like uh, you know uh, you, oh you're calling about the interview. You need to talk to to Joe, and then, then you yeah, like yeah, let yeah. me transfer you yeah, over it, there. Except every time you introduced yourself, we are introduced. You'd be like you know like uh, uh, thanks for calling. Uh, thanks for calling the corner jerkers. You know I, I don't even remember. I'd have to listen to it again. It was just everybody was so quick, and and I was sitting there typing in names like you're next you're next you're next you're next yeah, so people yeah. would have a second to get something in their head and it was just so but you couldn't you can't i don't think i could do that you know it would be hard i would like to do uh adopt a prisoner now that you guys have seen 60 seconds to love yeah that if could I be fun pull off adopt a prisoner you yep. guys have to admit i'm on to territory nobody's ever stepped because I'd say if so. i get people to if i get us behaving like we're prisoners up for adoption <laughs> I think that's gonna be fucking great. We'll put on a, a like a, you know do rags and get some orange <laughs> yeah. orange jumpsuits. Yeah. Exactly, it's perfect for fourth wall. You know, like I was mentioned earlier, like that fourth wall. Now we can see each other interaction, right? Yeah, uh, if it's perfect if, for that, if, you're putting on a character. If I get my uh, green screen working, like I'm always <laughs> yeah. saying, I'm gonna do. Uh, I could get the uh, you know I could be in a jail cell. Like yeah. I could be calling from the prison. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It would be amazing because I mean, sixty seconds to love, and everybody's only seen one episode of sixty seconds to love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a. There's gonna be a spoiler. There's three. We did three, and all three were brilliant. 
So I think the next one sometime in August and then the other one's in October. And they're both really funny, but there's a, the one that I'm going to mention here, uh, the lady's dad keeps commenting in the background. Remember that one, Arby? The, um, the guy who just wanted to listen to his music. Oh yeah, that one was that like that one was like a sitcom. Like, that, <laughs> it's like a sitcom. It was seriously like that was the weirdest <laughs> thing. That was crazy. I love oh that one. God. It is so funny. I it, can't, in the ending, the uh, yeah, it, it really plays. It, I can't wait for people to hear that one. That was just yeah. so bizarre. He's like, and, you know, the thing is, it's even the critics who don't like some of this stuff, right? It's just not their style. I, I get it, you know, you know, it, and so it's not, it's not everybody's thing, or they're, you know, still trying it out to see what they like, and what they don't like about it. But those, those sixty seconds of love calls, I can't tell you how long mm. I spent structuring and thinking and all that, and just the fact that every single one of them has uh, nine to ten pranks basically built in them. Me guiding yep. the thing, and then you know people and, complain and about the length wet. of of those calls, but really it's like a bunch of calls all in one. Yeah, yeah, and and so even the people who don't like it have said, well, well, you know th- that episode was good, right? Because it's hard to argue. It's it's fucking brilliant because every nobody has to hold back, right? Because I'm right there, and I've been doing this for years, even with phone larking, where. I was kind of the voice of reason. I'm the reason they're staying on. I'm their guide through this insanity, right? Yep. It's that role. That you're you're the one that gets them to talk about, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, 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 hey, uh, Ronk. And, and so hey. this gets to... Oh. Uh, no, you can go I, ahead, G. Get sick fuck, of me talking again. No, fuck Ronk. Who's, like, go ahead. <laughs> hey. Hey, where what? did you find that Juggalo girl? Like... Um... All of my stuff is as simple as this, is I place ads on Craigslist. Uh, this is how I've been pulling numbers for years, and that's why earlier I was saying it sucks that they changed it up there. Um, I place ads on Craigslist, and for that one, I basically said that I was looking for juggalos who wanted to come on a podcast and you know and, and stand up for the, their name as it was leading a couple of days into this march that was going to happen in Washington. And she responded. And I, I'm so glad she did because I thought she was awesome. I mean, it, it was so fun. You know, she. I think she even would laugh about it to a degree. I, but I, I could feel be like wrong. She was like of hated the this perfect stuff. amount of pissed off, but also just kind of like was good for the entertainment value. Like she didn't right. like she didn't take it as seriously as some people would have, but she really contributed a whole lot by her just yeah. kind of sitting back and taking that that banter. Right. We didn't just punt her around. That's what and that was yeah. one thing that I tried to get these guys to not do right away. It's okay if XYZ's a dick to somebody or this turn, you know, Carlito's this weirdo dick, right? But what I don't want them to feel like is it's six people beating on one, right? I don't want yeah. them to feel that way. So the best I can do is be the controller and perfectly neutral, you know, and those guys can agree and disagree based on the kind of the roles, the angles we decided before we started. Cause we don't, it's kind of like improv. It, it really is like improv. Cause we just kind of go in there with jump off points. Like what are we going to be? Right. Yeah. And then you just play it improv after that. And, and that, and that girl, if you've seen right at the end, you know, when we went to the reaction as we kind of were releasing or showing her, it was all a big joke. She was <laughs> smiling and laughing. <laughs> Oh, and not everybody does that. That's that's definitely a true statement. <laughs> you know, when we went to the I, reaction as we kind of uh, were releasing oh, shit, or showing... Shit. I'm fucking things up. Bye, Ronk. <laughs> hey, Canada, you you're on the air. Is this Steve Gregg? Steve Gregg? Oh, Steve Dave. Hey, buddy. It kind of hey, sounds, like D- sounds like DK. This is DK. I've been listening to your show lately. You asked me to be on your show, and I'm like, sure. And I started listening. You guys never had me on. What the fuck? Listen, I, uh, that's why I'm calling. Uh, <laughs> Carlito, by the way, freaking legend, man. Holy fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Guys, you guys, uh, we love you over at the cave, and uh, we got to get you on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm up for it anytime. Just let me know when. All, All my right. Thursdays All right. are free. So, um, listen, I got a question for you. I want to ask. And this goes back way back into the, uh, sorry, I got a kid playing Fortnite in the back Hey, here. can you tell your kid um, to shut the fuck up? Uh, yeah, I, I will, just for you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, do you guys remember uh, PrankNet? 
Yeah, uh, I do. Remember do you, Tarek? Do, do you know Pranknet, Diad? You know, what Prank- I, I know of them. I wasn't. I was completely off the scene. I kind of disappeared. I mean, not that I was on the scene before that, but yeah. I literally wasn't doing pranks or listening to pranks. I was just in a different element for a while. They're the destructive. But I definitely know who they are. They're the destructive kind of prank guys. <laughs> fucking destroyers. Yeah, yeah. They're they're the guys yeah. that do crazy things that are are kind of yeah. bad. What about them? They, well, they were they were terrible. Well, no, uh, that that guy Tarek, he he was from my hometown in Windsor, Ontario. Here, oh wow! And I remember I I did a show uh, back oh god ten years ago, and uh, I remember we were used to play his calls, and and I I, I don't know I, I uh, yeah I wanted to get your opinion on that. Oh, I was fascinated with his calls. Like I could I could listen to him all day, but you know he's still a horrible person. <laughs> Oh, no, no, they're terrible. I mean, they did some awful things. You guys don't do anything yeah. like that. Just try to get me to fucking move my satellite or, you know, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can, I, like, the stuff they've done is pretty epic and amazing, and I, I can still listen to PrankNet. It's fun to listen to, but then yeah. you got to think, you, you, you know, they're, they're like, you, they're doing really bad things. Yeah, can you, my can you still find them? I, I, like, I Googled them, and uh, I don't know. You guys probably have ways I don't. I think they got pulled off of YouTube quite a few times because, um, like, they're so illegal. Yeah, there's, a, there's truly crimes in there. But, yeah, I don't know if I have a collection of them myself. I might. I don't. I think someone gave me some once. I don't know if I still have them. Well, you've got a collection like nobody has. But, uh, yeah. anyway, listen, I, I, I got a show tonight. Um, but I wanted to call. I saw you were, you know, actually live and taking calls. I wanted to say hi, and um, we'll hook up. We'll we'll get you on within the next couple of weeks. How's awesome! That? that sounds great. Hey, what's your show? Where do people find it and all that? Oh, we're uh, we're live 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Uh, CaveCrewRadio dot com is where you find us. All the uh, past shows. We have a mystery guest tonight. Unfortunately, it's not Brad. Damn it's it. going to be a lot of fun. Bullshit. Uh, we fuck around a lot, too, but, um, yeah, we'd love to have you come by. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. One of these years. All right, years. brother, we'll see you. All right, see you later. See ya. Bye, All right. See you, Colin. Ah, oh, shit, I just hung up. <laughs> yeah, the... Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of the same way with the prank net stuff. Like, I, I'm fascinated from the human element of it. Yeah, it's right? amazing. Like the stuff, like like social engineering at its at its most deviant, almost right. The stuff they've done is it, is nothing compared to the stuff they've done. Basically. Yeah, like yeah. They, they get it, people it, to drive cars through buildings and stuff. Like, that, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 truly insane, and so it's it's hard for me to laugh because I'm also kind of an empathetic person, yep. and you know, you guys see it when you know behind the scenes, I'm like, hey, tone that down, or hey, I didn't, eh, you know, and so I'm a little bit empathetic, but it's hard. It's like watching a car crash, right? You don't really want to see anybody die, but how do you look away? Yeah, yep. Uh, someone in the chat room wants to know what the name of that radio station was because he said it too fast or whatever fucking dk uh, it's cavecrewradio.com is that what he said or is it dot net just, you know i didn't i, I think yeah, I, I think it was dot com but i could be wrong. yeah just search for C- cave crew radio it's a it's a fun show to listen to i listen to it i listen to the podcast version i usually don't catch it, catch it live we've been doing this an hour i think it's almost time to quit okay i mean we could take another call like this guy has been trying to call in a while all right. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. Who's this? Now, this is uh, Kenneth from your chat room. Oh. First off, I'm a big fan of both of you, so thank you. Thank you. Fuck you, Of course. <laughs> I'm fucking you. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, so I had a question for both of you. What is the prank phone call that you regret doing? Oh. Okay. I got a couple. Yeah, I, I definitely have... I, I So... <laughs> So I, I, I kind of have two major ones that stand up in my head. Uh, one, I find it still really funny. It's the very first Mexican ditch fighting call we did. And, and I we got I got this fucking kid to sucker punch his friend. They're oh, both yeah. Drunk at a party. That was funny, so though. Was, I felt bad. And, and like I'm going down there, and, and like and he was like, yeah, let me go over there. And all of a sudden, Dwight's on with me. And I said to Dwight, I said, um... I said, am I going to try to get him to hit him? And Dwight goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I did it, and, he, and a big fight broke out. And it's an amazing call to listen to. It's insane. And then later on, I think we, told, we got the kid to go to the airport with his guitar or something. Cause, I don't know. Yeah. So I, I felt a little bad about that because I was 
it, it was sort of mean. It was it was definitely mean, right? I mean, it, it, Arby, I even I, I even confided in Arby like the next day. I said I feel real bad about that, and he says, "Well, if you if this was his response, That's his it. text response back to me." Well, if you hang out with people that'll punch you in the face because some guy on the phone told them to, you're bound to get punched in the face sometime. <laughs> he probably you know, gets like, punched okay, in the. I guess. He probably gets punched in the face at the drop of a hat, like just the people he hangs out with. So, I wouldn't feel bad about that. Yeah, it, it, and, it, I kind of can agree with you a little bit. Like that's probably not the first time one of them's hit each other, but it was it was insane. It's funny, but it was too close to over the line to me. Yep. Um, and then the only the other one is see I'm always trying to come up with new ideas. So you I basically joined prank net that day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Go ahead. I try. I tried. The, the second one was I'm always trying to come up with ideas, and I came up with this one, and it was nearing Christmas, and I think this was the very first year. Yeah, this was my first year, so I'm about nine months into doing live shows, and and this guy and and, and, and all of a sudden I put out this ad, and it was for. Uh, uh, get a free Santa Claus to talk to your kids on the internet or talk to you, know, you could talk to on the internet or something like that. And I thought, okay, what it is, I'm not going to prank their kids, but I'm going to prank them. And I'm going to prank them and get them to, you know, talk to me and, and it'll be all weird. Right. And I just thought that'd be a good idea. Then I started getting responses and those fucking responses, a lot of them were heartbreaking. And then I came across one and I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I fucking cried reading this. <laughs> and then I got Lux and turbo on because they were doing the show with me a lot and i said i said guys listen to this i want to read this to you and i couldn't read it without fucking crying and that's Bo. that was the letter that Bo wrote me and then and that was where we kind of started um our our christmas charity thing like we we got we sent our family like a whole bunch of shit oh, i didn't about know that later. i didn't know that was related to a prank call i, did, I thought that was just a random yeah. person no, no. The very first one was because this fucking lady, uh, oh, well, fucking lady, this lady named Bo, wrote me a heart-stopping story about the condition that her family was in and how how much it would mean if if just her son who had autism could even just have a conversation with Santa over the phone. I mean, how the fuck am I? <laughs> what what was wrong with me? You know, of course you're gonna get shit like that. You're offering yeah. a free Santa. This isn't. <laughs> do you want to be on Who Wants to Be a Fucking Quadrillionaire? You know, I, I'm gonna get emotional people and it fucking crushed me so i regret that but in a way it was really good because we helped them out and it started a tradition that lasted yeah you, you raised like a thousand bucks or something for them right or well, for them, i or... only got up to like 450 which was amazing because we just mm-hmm. did it like fly you know nobody even understood people hell i think even matt hillock was like that's stupid because it was just too nice of a thing to do right but he didn't know me at the time but we talked about it since and and it became one of those things where, you know, then everybody kind of jumped on because, like, I made the video, the re, you know, the video of the letter I sent and the stuff I gave. Yeah. And that lady even came around in the chat room a couple times. I mean, we, we fucking did that lady an amazing thing. So I don't regret it for that sense. But just, like, that was a big wake-up call to me. Like, whoa, dude, you're not <laughs> – look for people that you can make laugh, not people you can make cry. You know, yeah. or people that you make angry, right? People can get past being angry. You beat somebody down emotionally because you tricked them into something. Oh, man, that's it's harder on me. Albert in the chat room says, "Wow, Giad has a heart." Well, yeah, uh, if you got unlike me, he was a sociopath. You would know for sure because I'm the one who fucking panhandled for three years straight trying to get fucking family. The one family, the second family, we did get like a thousand bucks. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was amazing. You know that one guy called me a sociopath earlier, but like at least I'm not telling parents how to jack off their kids. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> like Dwight. <laughs> yeah, Dwight. Who's called? Well, nobody. If you're a sociopath, is up for debate because you potentially could be a really nice guy who this is all you know, right? Dwight, he's a sociopath. Nobody even debates that. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Fucking Dwight. <laughs> who, who is this calling on, on on the phone? Who is this? Who are you? Oh, this is a uh, Kenneth. Oh, hey, in the chat room. hey, Kenneth. Yep. It, Arby, guess... did, did you got one? Did you have one that you regretted? Uh, yeah, I was doing um, Twitter complaint, or no, I was doing Yelp check-ins. Yeah, and uh, I called a lady. I think she was in a beauty shop or a tattoo parlor. One of those two things. I can't remember for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but I called her. I'm like, yeah, this is. This is Yelp. We're canceling your account. You said all these horrible racist things. And, oh, no. Like, you know, I just went on and on about these terrible things she said on, on her Yelp review. And she started crying. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, okay, listen, ma'am, I, I'm just a prank caller. I'm not really with Yelp. 
I just saw your check in. I explained it to her and you know, I tried to make her feel better, but she was still crying in the end. And, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I actually, I, 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 I've, I've heard you do stuff like that before, where you realize you've walked a little close to the edge. Yeah. And you know, it's time to back away a little bit. Which actually, I think people kind of appreciate that because it shows this. This, it's weird to say that you're a moral troll, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a real thing. Even We're like Dwight that guy that. from the movie Labyrinth. What's that, Kenneth? Oh, I was saying, even Dwight has done that. He had that prank phone call. He almost got a guy fired. So he's like, oh, no, definitely not a prank phone call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, Dwight, I, I said that jokingly, too, because Dwight, I know the guy personally, and he, yeah. he has a big fucking heart. There's no doubt about that. There, there's another one where I made a lady cry when I was telling her her son was the spawn of Satan in the photographs that we got of him. Oh, and, no, she, and she was crying, but then in the end, she was laughing. She thought it was awesome. So yeah. I, I really like that one because she just cried and, and then she thought it was great and laughed a bunch and yeah, it, it, yeah, that was good exactly. times. The, the tattoo the happy, beauty shop, whatever lady, that that wasn't a fun time for me. No. And that was a live show, so I couldn't just delete it. Damn it! And I could think of another one that you might have done that you regret. Oh, thanks, Jihad. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's a small group of calls. What's that? <laughs> Oh, are you, are All right, you well, thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, All right, bye, bye, Kenneth. Hang up on you. I'm referring to what's the, whatever that store is that you owe twenty oh, grand. Oh yeah, to. yeah. The I, you know what? I don't really regret those because they were really funny. You know, I, <laughs> and it was a wake up call. Funny to me. I think maybe I was getting a, I was going a little too far with pranks and getting customer info. Like I, I can't really do that. I think that's a bad idea to keep doing that. I think so, so too. I, I, you know, the the, the thing is, is it's there are elements of this where it's easy to step over the line without notice, noticing it. I mean, in hell, you and I put that in the very first episode, right, of Calls of Mass Confusion, that idea that we let's give people the idea that they know where the rules are, right, because you had already written the rules and we put them in there. And then, ironically as fuck, I get arrested at the end of the season. Yeah. I, uh, Good times. I mean, I... I, I couldn't write that shit, dude. That's why I kept it. That's why everybody knows I got arrested because I, I, I said there's no better way to end it than if you start that way, you might as well end it, right? Okay, we're going to take like two more calls, maybe. Okay. Like, okay, there's okay. A, an Ohio calling in and a Massachusetts. Actually, let's put them both on at the same time. Okay. Ohio and Massachusetts, you are both on the air. Hi. I wrote a I song. I want to be on the air by myself. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, then. I'm going to hang up on one of them. I don't know which one's talking. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Ohio, you're on the air. Ohio? Yeah, I'm in Ohio. Oh, yeah, I'm... I didn't hang up on the, the complainy one. What's up? Yay! <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hi, Jad. How you guys doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Who's this? <laughs> this is Aaron. I offered you hot phone sex in the chat room if you would answer my call. Ah, so. god damn it. I missed out on that. Shit, fuck. <laughs> I'm... But could you do me a favor? Okay, well... Maybe. What is it? Can you tell my kids to shut the fuck up? Okay, put it, <laughs> put it on speaker. Okay, go ahead. She can hear you. Hey, kid, shut the fuck up. You just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, kid. Just shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. I love when you do that. I personally, <laughs> as a parent, I listen to you when it's my quiet time as a mom. And I sit and I laugh my ass off when you call... And you tell people to get their kids to shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. I love calls and mass confusion. Thank that you. was so funny. <laughs> it was Thanks. so funny. And, yeah. and I'm yeah. sorry that I did. Oh, it actually, it's it's hard to regret it. I mean, the worst thing that I did was hire a lawyer. Because he couldn't do nothing for me. The charge was so fucking minor. They couldn't get anything else. So for me, for me, it's that, that the only thing that sucked is I didn't get any other better deal than my buddy Justin, who oh. went, went in and talked to the prosecutor. The prosecutor sat in the room and berated him for like five minutes and gave him, <laughs> gave him the same exact thing I got. So my only regret is hiring that lawyer. But it, otherwise, it made a perfect ending. Yeah. I knew that from the moment I was getting arrested. I was hoping to God I could get my cameras back. I think this is a good time to um, maybe tell people that you have a Patreon and you'd really like to make back oh. that money from your that you <laughs> yeah. spent on a lawyer. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not making much off of calls of mass confusion. That's for sure. I appreciate the people who don't donate, but I'm we're, we're really far back in the red still. 
And what, um, what is it? Um, I will. I promise. I will take some of my single mom money, and I will give you guys money because <laughs> oh, I do love you so. Aaron, don't. Do that. Oh no, yeah, no. Yeah, listen, Aaron. Aaron, like, okay. So you have a daughter. You have, you have a daughter, Aaron. I have a. I have a daughter. Okay, yeah. like, sell some of her toys and use that <laughs> to. Uh, Brad, she will beat the <laughs> shit out of me if I do that. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, just money that you're going to spend 13. on your. <laughs> Money you're going to spend on your kids. Instead, use that for the Patreon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell her Xbox One and give you the money and give the ads. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Aaron. Stop. And Stop now with your social engineering me, skills. Like, she's literally going to fucking kill me in the middle of the night tonight, so thanks. Yeah, just tell her to shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> I keep telling her that. <laughs> All right, we're hanging up on you, Aaron. Oh. Bye. Yeah, it was All really right, good bye. talking to you. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> that was as entertaining as an actual prank call in my mind. So, so, um, Great. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, call, I, uh, what is it? It's, uh, patreon.com slash, is it COMC? I think it's just COMC. I think right? that one's just COMC. The thing is, I tried to make it constant. I just couldn't get everything to be just COMC. So that's COMC. So you can look it up on there. Yep, there it is. Um, the Facebook. Which I just haven't been posting shit to. I, I, I kind of needed to take a mental break, everybody. I fucking dove in so hard for like three months. And before that, we were doing pranks constantly. So I, know, I, I, was, I, I had to just check out. I was, I was getting sick of it. It, it. Yeah, it is something where I, it can happen so often where it's like, oh, now it's like a job. Hey, Massachusetts, but, you are on the air. What's up? Massachusetts. I think this is who I hung up on. Did I hang up on you, Massachusetts? I'm sorry. It was Aaron's this fault. This is Adolf Nippler and the phone winners. Oh, hey, Adolf Nippler. Hi. How are you doing? Does phone winners have a website by chance? Yeah, phonewinners.com. That's great. Just go to phonewinners.com. <laughs> I'm happy that exists. <laughs> uh, so we're ending the show now. Do you have anything to ask Giad or me or any uh, comments or whatever? Everyone go to phonewinners.com. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Nippler. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't need this shit. <laughs> Trying to do a show and he's just... So your new idea for a show is to take live calls on video. And get trolled. I can attest that this is a bad idea <laughs> if yep. you go back and listen to my shit from the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, is you got tough skin, so you'll last in this business. I got a good feeling about you. Thanks, Giad. I hope I do. <laughs> Um, anything you want to say before we get going? Like, uh, what's your favorite part of like just being a part of the community? Oh wait, no wait. I, I know something I I'm, I wanted to say earlier, but somebody interrupted me. I want okay. you. I want to put this out there publicly. Like, put up all of the art of the phone art of phone larking things on YouTube. I told you privately, and you're just like, eh, fuck that. It's too much work. What I have out somewhere. there, though. What I have out there is all the uh, all the best of best calls those yeah. are out there there's like a couple hundred of them um so those listen. are out there on calls mass confusions youtube too but i think some people would listen to the full episodes if I, you put them up there and you can find them they're out if you if they're they're on itunes or at least last i checked they oh, were they? they're not all of them we did there's some lost ones but they're out there okay never mind so then. just go, i probably go to iTunes, won't everyone. upload them to youtube but they are on they're on there and i should download them just to have a copy because you're right i don't i think i have them all like if you ever lose them I, i'm pretty sure i have them all along awesome. with my and when all this phone larking or all this uh not phone larking but all this uh um uh calls mass confusion stuff's done i'm probably gonna ask if i can put it in your uh your big uh, archive too oh yeah yeah i want to do that i want to set up an, another torrent for prank calls all my nice. my prank net collection and if i have that i think i i do maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> We'll be. We're trying to get remembered in history. Just a footnote, but somewhere there. What's your favorite thing that, um, like, your favorite idea that ended up on someone's show? Like, like you, you gave me the yard sales idea. Like, like, what's your favorite thing that ended up on someone else's show? Uh, reference checks. Reference checks. Yeah. So, car, people have done these reference checks, and the reference checks. I invented it on on phone larking and 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 carlito's done them on and there's more coming just so people know the ones who liked it from season one there's more reference checks coming it's just i wanted to showcase a bunch of other oh, shit. Is, are you talking about the thing where um carlito was eating in the lettuce the head of lettuce yeah. 
but okay. it, yeah, it, well, the reference no, the reference checks that that was a job interview. Um, that was okay. just an, a weird interview. The reference checks are where um, I tell you that it, basically it's a simple fucking sell. I get you on for a job interview, and I'll and I'll say, hey, you know, the well, last time you know last time we did this, we got burned real bad, so we got to do this reference check. I just need a personal reference check, somebody who can just verify you are who you are, and then. They give you a number, you get on. These are harder to do live because there's a lot of information being traded, so they're, they're better for like recorded shit. Yeah. And and then and then they give you the information. Let's say you get their mom on, like Carlito got a dad on, and you know and a brother on, and then you just switch it on them. You, you switch up what the idea is. There, you could be help. You could be their sexual, you know, homosexual partner coming out. Oh, like, okay, I know what you're talking about. So it's drunk right now. They're smashing shit, and then they'll be, right. the guy will be like. What the heck's going on here? There's this is a job. This is a. I thought this was a job interview. And then, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember some of those. Now that you mentioned it, I, I can yeah. kind of forgot about and those. So that in Carlito's taken that and ran with it brilliantly, and and he'll openly admit I wrote that idea. It came out one day on my drive back from work one day when I was doing our phone work, and I just thought of it. Like, wow, that's smart, you know. And it, <laughs> it works a lot better edited because you can take out all the trying to convince them but the reaction is fucking brilliant because they're powerless right they're listening to you talk <laughs> to the mom or the brother they can't hang up every time they say something you just jump in and fucking deflect it right and and it's just brilliant and sometimes the reason i like it with video because sometimes they don't say anything at all and in and, and normally if that was just audio it'd be boring as fuck but you get to see them sit and go <laughs> yeah you yeah, know those, and just be like fun. i remember fat. this yeah. Hey, uh, so there's, 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 those come. A, there's a question in the chat room uh, from Eddie. Uh, he mm-hmm. wants to know who you voted for, Romney? Romney? <laughs> <laughs> who, who you voted for? I Actually, I didn't vote this last election, and it, so you can blame me if you don't like Trump because I'm one of the people who said, oh, I don't like her, and he's dumb as shit. I think we're, the world deserves this. <laughs> no, I, I, I typically... I, I think he's I only making a Jelanta reference. Oh, is it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was legitimate. Okay, now I know exactly answering. what you're talking about. It took me I didn't make that connection. Chat, that's great. Who you vote for? I got it. <laughs> Who do you think I'm are? <laughs> that way is amazing. Um, we're going to end with like the song that I played on the beginning of this show by MC Lars. I've got the full version of it here queued up. Uh, I yep. want to play the whole thing. I wanted to premiere it on this show. I've been, you know, just waiting for us to have time to do this. Uh, he just made this out of nowhere. He like he's been listening to PLA. He's been commenting on the videos, um, and I thought that was cool. Then he reminds me that like, hey, we used to we used to chat and and do weird shit together in the '90s. I'm like, oh shit, that was you. Awesome. Um, so he put together this song, uh, and I'm gonna play that, and it's gonna be our outro thingy. So uh, thanks, Giad, for being on. Thanks for having me on. This was awesome. Yeah. First you episode. Should do, you should do more of these. I might. We'll, we'll <laughs> see. Yeah, like, uh, I, I think I'm probably just going to have someone someone different on each time. Uh, Jag yeah. TV said he's going to be on. Uh, like, Nick Caesar, I want to get him on just so I can copy um, antisocial engineering some more. <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to poach every interview person that Riley has on his show and, and put him on my show and, and do a better job. <laughs> Take that, Riley. And then, <laughs> and then in the end, uh, just steal his partner. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that too. That's going to be my next step. Going to get Jeff, Jeff on. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of it for a second. Yeah, just steal Jeff. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is a song. It's called uh, PLA All Day. This is by MC Lars. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. Bye. Shit, that was loud. PLA, PLA all day, 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 PLA, PLA all day,
PLA all day. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. From losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs. In the backseat of your car, and he's so very sorry. He was searching for the Snorlax, so we scratched up your Ferrari. Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast. Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad. Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool. And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's not too cool. And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera. Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like Santa. A shopping spree, people get deceived, dude. Switching off the power, people will believe you. A blockbuster red box, we just put it in. Our BCP for the win once again. PLA, PLA all day. 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 PLA. PLA all day, PLA, PLA all day, PLA, PLA all day. They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry guys, we just destroyed your lawn and can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next kin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line 2, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just want to say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In a scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. 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 Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Well, what, like, what are you doing? What are you, you're like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new, watch Scrubs.